Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to more Gintama, specifically continuing with episode 5 and 6. In the last episode, of course, we reacted to 3 and 4 because I heard it's best for newcomers to skip the first two episodes, so we knocked out 3 and 4, and the support for those two episodes were absolutely insane. I had no idea there were so many Gintama fans. I had a ton of people in the comments saying that they found me through that Gintama reaction so welcome to the channel hope you guys are enjoying the video and we have plenty more where that came from so let's jump straight into this in the last episode we've met our main character Gintoki who's kind of like an oddball samurai that goes around handling people with just a wooden sword so I think he definitely might have a couple screws loose but he's the kind of oddball that like intrigues you that makes you want to learn more about him and I feel like after a while it's going to start to grow on us but alongside Gintoki we also met two other characters that I'm guessing are gonna be more main characters the first one was Shinpachi who was a boy that grew up in kind of like a samurai household and his family they owned a dojo and they were kind of carrying on that tradition after their father passed away but unfortunately once the aliens invaded I believe they banned all samurai so Shinpachi and his sister were the last two samurai in all of Japan I'm guessing and then that episode ended with Shinpachi's sister pretty much saying she was going to find a way to pay for the debt that his that her father left behind and then Shinpachi went to join Gintoki in his like samurai adventure and then in the next episode we meet Kagura who's a girl that's actually not a human although she may look very much like one apparently she's some alien species that looks just like humans except they're extremely pale and they're extremely powerful and there was this gang that had this weird obsession with like afros and they recruited her over into their team to take out the competition the other gangs that had different haircuts and then eventually Kagura ended up escaping they hunted her down but luckily with Gintoki and Shinpachi's help we were able to turn the tables take down the gang leader shave his dumb hair cut off and then the episode ended right there with Kagura joining our squad so if you guys are excited for the episode make sure to leave a like it'll help me and the video out so much more than you might think and also consider subscribing to the channel for more bi-weekly reactions to Gintama but with that all out of the way let's get right into this episode Alright, so real quick before we get into the video, I wanted to give you guys two ways that you can kind of enhance your viewing experience of this reaction because as we all know, copyright is not fun to deal with on YouTube, so I did need to censor some parts of the video. However, I did try to edit it in a way so that you guys can visually see exactly where I am and follow along through the video alone, but I do also have two alternative ways in case the video itself isn't really your style. So the first way that I have is of course following along through the picture-in-picture -picture method so if you are on PC or if you are on mobile all that you have to do is look for a picture-in-picture -picture app or a picture-in-picture -picture browser extension this is the one that I use right here and literally all that I have to do is go to the anime episode click a button and then I get a little screen of the anime that I can put in front of my reaction in this little corner right here it should look something like this it's super easy super quick but the second way that you guys can enjoy this is of course through the uncut picture and picture reactions if you'd like to check those out all that you have to do is head on over to the cloud crowd discord and then dm me just saying something like yo crow where can i get these picture and pictures and i will tell you exactly where you can find them completely for free so you don't have to worry about that just make sure to leave a comment telling me your thoughts at the end of the video and with that all out of the way let's get right into the reaction all right, so before we start this, if you guys would like to receive early access episodes of Gintama, where you can see the episode up to a week earlier than anyone else on YouTube, make sure to head on over to the Patreon, link will be in the description, and you can join the Patreon for as low as $2, and that'll give you early access to this series, among a bunch of other anime that all have a week earlier access than you would get from just watching through YouTube. So if that interests you, make sure to head on over to the Patreon, but whenever you guys are ready, make sure to grab your source videos, pull them up, and then get ready to sync them with me because we'll be starting episode 5. 
in. Okay. Three, two, one, go. All right. Oh, yeah. And also, um, if you are watching this on YouTube, I did want to mention that the video might look a little, I guess, stretched. And that's just because the aspect ratio of these earlier episodes are a bit more squarish. So I need to stretch it into a rectangle to fit. But if you are watching the picture in picture, then the quality should be perfectly fine. So. Phew. Let's see what the heck is going to happen next. Da -da -da. Man. It's so crazy. I've heard this opening a million times, but I never knew it was from this series. And it's actually like... Oh, man. I think someone said that this started airing in like 2006, right? And this opening definitely gives me like the early 2000s vibe. Like... I'm talking Sergeant Frog. Well, no, Sergeant Frog had kind of a more odd opening. Like, they used CG and stuff in some. But I'm definitely getting some, like, early 2000s Shonen vibes from this. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Another thing is, um, one thing that I didn't quite understand was like the Amanto. I thought that the Amanto was like a specific alien race that invaded and then took over everything and then a bunch of other alien races came in afterwards but Japan is currently under the rule of that Amanto alien race but apparently the Amanto are all of the aliens like all of them just go by that name. I'm, I'm pretty sure they all have their own like different species, but they're referred to as a Monto. So I guess it's all of them that are against this samurai tradition. Anti-foreigner faction. Oh man. <laughs> I'll only kill you three-fourths of the way. Dang, it doesn't seem like anyone cares. Hello? Are you okay? <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh my, what? <laughs> when did that happen? Oh? So it looks like they're getting along well so far. Oh man, and the delivery guy got messed up. Make friends you can call by their nicknames, even when you're an old fart. Okay, these names. I didn't sleep well last night. You gotta be more careful, dude. Dang. Okay, all right, anyone could have done that. <laughs> I wonder if they heard, though. Okay. <laughs> He's handing this to him like this is his dying words. And he wants them to carry it on, carry on his legacy for him or something. But it must be an important package if that's the only one he's handing to him. Alright. Interesting little palace here.
Okay, we're getting some lore here. Oh man. This must be one of the guards. So I'm guessing this guy is an, e an Inui. Since he's like part dog. Dang. Oh, it was a bomb! Holy crap! Oh no, what does this mean? Are these guys targeting the embassy? <laughs> and he thinks we're responsible now. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> I love how Gein Tuggy says, what are you doing, while he's doing the same thing. Oh no, reinforcements. Oh man. Okay, what's he got planned? Time to go, Gin Toki. So they know each other, okay. Kotaro. Is, so it's, okay, hold on. So Kotaro. And what was his last name, like Katsura or something? All right, let's scram. Track down their base at all costs. Oh, snap. So this guy, he's got wanted posters around. Alright, interesting. The plot thickens. Well, the good thing is at least the explosive didn't get into the embassy. Oh no, oh no, they think that we're responsible. Now the whole city's gonna be after us. Oh my god, Kagura. <laughs> A terrorist? He just said it so casually. Oh, and he's brought his boys. Freedom Fighters. Man, these guys look cool, I'm not gonna lie. I wonder if they're like... Villains, or if they're like the the military or the police force around here. All right. So what's his what's his name? Toshi, 
PG Carter? So this is the guy who got that crystal clear photo of us. Oh, oh snap. <laughs> They're like holding their kids away. <laughs> Man, he's a professional stalker. Oh, okay. Ah, I see, I see. So these guys are kind of like a like rebels that are fighting back against the Amanto. So this is how it all happened. Dang. We're the only ones left. Mr. Postman. Okay, so these guys were the ones that actually sent the package there. And it makes sense. They were trying to blow up the Amanto embassies. Let's see. He doesn't seem like the type that would join for free. Like he's he'd want something out of this. Cause I mean he is kind of struggling. He's out here doing odd jobs, so he's gonna need some form of payment or reward, I think. Feared as the White Knight, so now we're getting Gintoki lore here. And Kagura ruining the moment by chomping on her cookie over there. <laughs> oh, it's time. Dang. Let's go. Two brothers fighting back to back. I guess they're more like brothers in arms, not like actually related. Dang, they make them sound so cool here. And the Gintoki we know is such a goofball. Oh my god, will you put the cookie down for like five minutes? Jeez. <laughs> Dang, so he's moved on. Oh my god, here we go. Just completely changing the subject. And now her chomping on her cookie fits perfectly, because we're not getting anywhere with this. <laughs> Man. Oh no, they're already- Oh, they're probably right outside our door as we speak. The spaceship terminal. Dang, so that's like the, the final goal right there.
Oh, she's finally finished the cookie. That's how you know the climax is here. <laughs> and Hijikata has made it with his goons. Shinsen Gumi. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well then, what's your plan, Kagura? Ooh! You know, props to Gein Tucky for dodging it. That must have took some really quick reflexes. They sparkle during my close-ups. Ooh, That was smooth! How he turned his blade? Man... Oh, and they- they finally clash. I still- I will never understand how a wooden sword is holding that back. A rocket launcher?! Okay, this dude. This dude. What the heck? That's what I'm saying, you could've killed both of them. Did they escape? Nope, nope. They definitely didn't. God, Kagura, she's too much, man. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, immerse myself in the action, and then she pulls me back to reality. Like, look, I, I, every time she's doing something random in the background, I can't keep my eyes away. Wow, okay, respect. I like this. He's living by his own morals. Oh my god, Kagura! So now we don't even have a choice. She's already triggered it. Dude, is everyone watching this same soap opera? What the heck? They must be making bank. Oh, okay, distraction. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man, it's just hot potato at this point. Okay, okay, she's kind of got a point. I mean, it's a really dumb point, but she's not wrong. What? Yeah, what the? <laughs> Who's Adrian? Ah, <laughs> oh, man, not a lot of time left. Bite down on something. Oh, no. Oh no. Poor Gein Toki, man. He got sent with the bomb! Okay. 
Dang, man. What an intense, like, minute there. That was all, like, 60 seconds. And so much happened in such little time. Dang, man. It looks like they made it out of there. Except maybe Gein Toki. Did he stick the landing? Ah, there he is. Holding on for dear life. Alright. So it looks like Gintoki didn't join in the end. Oh, back in time for this soap opera. Let's see. Oh, it got cancelled. By an emergency broadcast. Feels, man, I feel for them. I feel for them, dude. They didn't, they probably didn't even want to go out there and chase down the terrorists, but they had to do their job. So they wanted to get it done quick and painlessly so they could get back home for their soap opera. Soap opera. And then it just gets canceled. Like, I feel for them, dude. I don't think anyone in this series is really bad so far. Like the Amanto. They're aliens, and uh, I guess they are kind of bad for invading. But now that they're already established here, like, they're just... They're just living. They're just trying to get by, I guess. Like, I don't really see any of them as, uh... Well, any of the ones that have already established here and made their embassies and stuff, I don't really see them as bad guys. It's kind of like, you know, when one country invades another country and takes over, like, yeah, it is kind of messed up that they invaded, but now that they're there, now that they're established, like, I don't think all of them are bad. And these, uh, police that are working for the Amanto, they're just doing their job, man. They know that samurai are kind of banned or outlawed here, so... This is, like, the next best thing. They're still able to work as samurai, but they're fighting under the Amanto. And I guess they're not labeled as samurai. Oh, man, another new character? Dude, it's just back-to-back, -back, like, goofy characters. Idol Tsu Terakado? Your mom is XX? Wait, what the heck is going on? There's like three ending scenes. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh no. Oh god. His students. It's silver. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Take it off. I knew it, man. I knew it. She does not belong in society. <laughs> she just doesn't fit. Her brain does not function the same way that ours does. No way! You're not fooling anyone. Oh my god, this- this anime, this anime is- My brain is- It's all the way over there right now. It's not here, it is not present currently. I don't even know what to think about what I just watched. That was just 24 minutes of confusion, of nonsense, of cookie eating, of button mashing, <laughs> like... Alright, so whenever you guys are ready, make sure to grab your source videos, pull them up, and then get ready to sync them with me. 
because we'll be starting episode 6 of Gintama in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright. So we got the usual intro. We got a lot more lore now after last episode. We know that pretty much samurai run this place. They were taken over by the Amanto. They've established a bunch of different embassies. And then, um, of course, there are different alien races among the Amanto. Like the, what were they called? The Inui? And they're like dog people. We saw there were cheetah people. There's like robot aliens. There's Kagura's species. So I'm sure there's plenty, plenty more for us to find out. But man, I don't even know what to think. Last episode, this anime is just so random, man. What the heck? But I hear like everyone says, um, how do I explain it? Clearly, we all know that this series covers a ton of different genres. And right now, we're definitely in the comedy portion right now. But I wonder, there were some serious elements to last episode when we got into Gintoki's past and how it was him and uh, Kotaro, was that his name? And they were fighting side by side against the Amanto. And this character who we usually see as like this kind of goofball was actually like this serious badass samurai in the past. And maybe he still is, but he's kind of moved on from that life. And now, instead of living by the samurai's, like, code and morals, he's living for his own morals. And, like, to protect his friends and the people that he cares about. And that's why he didn't join Kotaro in the end. Which is respectable, I'm not gonna lie. I think there's a lot more to Gintoki's character than we're immediately shown. Oh no, they're still on us for these bombings. It makes sense, but, like, man, this sucks. Oh, here she is, the idol. Wait, this is so cool. I wonder when idol culture began. Because I doubt there were any back in the days of the samurai. Oh, they don't trust us. And she's eating again. Where did she even get a bowl of ramen? Aren't we in an interrogation room? My kids would never do that. Oh man, Sheen Pachi's not happy. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> he, is, he is terrified. Dang, well, hey, it got us out of there. Yep. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> Thank you. I, I think Sheen Pachi has a very important role here. Of like, kind of holding the reins on Gintoki and Kagura. Making sure they don't take it too far. And she is still... Oh my god. Oh my god. Who the heck is this guy? Oh, and he landed in it! Oh my god! Oh, that guy's a convict? To barf babe here. Oh, 
Oh no, he's got a hostage. Looks like she's playing along with it. Because she could easily send that dude flying if she wanted. But why the heck are we helping a random convict? We don't even know what he was locked up for. <laughs> and she's just knocked out. Dude, what are we gonna do with Kagura? Like, she just saps the seriousness out of every situation. I hate it. <laughs> but it's so funny, dude. <laughs> oh, and here they are, right on our tails. All right, pedal to the metal, boys. Tea house made. No, oh, no, get out of the way. Oh no, he's got that serious look on his face. Moe Moe intersection. Oh no, what's the plan now, Gintoki? Ooh, dang. Alright, we got rid of a couple of them. Another sharp turn here. Oh, okay. Alright, I guess cars can just do this now. And none of these guys thought of it? Oh my god, what a bunch of boneheads, dude. Oh, okay. These guys did, though. Apparently. Well, no, and we have to dodge freaking flying ships now. Wait, isn't that the ship that the guy had his little, like, brothel or whatever on? What the heck is he doing here? And even more? Oh wait, no! That's us! Oh man. We slipped past him. Don't tell me this is what stops us. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It'd be amazing if that was actually, like, organized by the police. Like, if they sent a decoy here with a stroller. Man, she is still sleeping through a car crash. Ooh, the sewers. Aw, oh, man, he's running through sewer water with no shoes on. Oh, wait, I just realized Sheen Pachi... Sheen Pachi just dipped. Is he gonna be gone for the whole episode? And that means we don't have anyone to keep these two in check. Oh, wait, is he here? Never mind. What? Oh my gosh! She's so vulgar! <laughs> 
Your father is a what? My mother is a what? She's got a whole album of insults. And this guy's loving it. <laughs> yeah, he escaped from prison just for this. But it looks like Kagura's enjoying it. <laughs> oh my god yeah <laughs> she's already taking after her. idol culture is scary man oh it's sheen pachi no way he's leading a whole freaking army of fans And look at this bozo over here. <laughs> From the day I was born. Yeah, we caught you, buddy. No oh, man. <laughs> He's like, yep, yep, I'm part of the fan club. She knows him? Oh man, they have history for sure. Were they friends? Were they lovers? Or were they enemies? That's the question. Oh my god. Dang, and these guys are loving it. Your father is bleep bleep in store soon. Oh my god. Well, hey, I'm glad I don't have one, so... <laughs> Looks like I'm in the clear. So that's her mom. Okay, that makes sense. Wait, no way is he the dad. There's no way. I do think they had, like, past history together, though, like, relationship-wise. Oh, I knew it! He was the dad! What the heck? I mean, that's kind of cool to see, that he's such a big fan of his daughter. Oh no, interview time. Oh, appreciate its more mature implications. <laughs> oh no. Her father died 13 years ago. I think they don't want the public to know that he was in jail. Or maybe he abandoned them. Oh, no, 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 he's a murderer. So he was locked up for something serious.
God, I hate when that happens, man. When you're chewing gum and then you blow a bubble. And it pops like that. Especially if you have a mustache or any facial hair. It's just a wrap. Dang. So that's why this was so important to him. He escaped prison to go to her first concert. Oh god. This guy, is he even paying attention? Some guest went kablooey. And Amanto here. Love Cannibal Clan. What? Who the heck? Oh, it's him. I knew it. Of course, it's the bozo that's freaking out. Nice work, Kagura. We'll handle it from here. Look at this guy. <laughs> Some kind of inflatable mascot. No, oh, no, this is bad. He's changed. Oh my god! Become one with me in my stomach. Oh no. She looks like her dad might have to claim one more body. Oh, oh snap, and he put a bag over his face to hide himself. No, oh, no. Dang, pinned him to the wall. Hey, let's go, the fanboy's coming through. Dang. I don't know if they can take him, but we're distracting him. We're holding him off, at least for now. Is he going to reveal it? Oh no, he's going after Shin Pachi! And Kagura! Let's go. And Gin Tokyo. <laughs> In the left building, all the yaki niku you can eat. But he didn't come here for food. He's trying to get his hands on a snack. Ooh! Dang, split his dome. With a wooden sword. <laughs> and down he goes. The roses! Dude, shout out to Gein, man. Oh, they're not roses. They're dandelions. <laughs> but it's close enough. Dang, what a nice guy. You've already come this far, man.
Does she remember? Oh, she did remember. She knows, dude. No, he's tearing up, man. Even the mom. Oh, man. Oh, man. What a good dad, dude. He broke out of prison to see his daughter perform. All right, let's make sure there's no big bozos in the crowd this time. Oh my god. Well, she's not saying my father is. She's saying your father is bleep bleep. <laughs> All right. He's turning himself in. Respect, man. Dang, that's crazy. He escaped with the sole objective of seeing his daughter perform. That's all he wanted. And then he turned himself in. And he's ready to go back to his cell. That's powerful, man. This is a very, like, I loved this episode. This is probably my favorite one so far. And the dandelions. Let's go, dude. Let's go. That was a fantastic episode. I do think, out of the four, let me think for a second. Out of the four episodes we just saw, I mean, all of them were pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I think the first one, the first one was okay. The second one was hilarious. Episode four was hilarious. With Kagura and those, oh, that's so dumb, those gangs that were fighting over who had the better hairstyle. And then the next episode, we met um, Kotaro, and that was pretty cool. We got to learn some really interesting lore about the world of Gintama and also about Gin himself. But I don't know. This episode just hit different. I really liked it. I think this one had probably the, like, the deepest... Um, the deepest meaning so far, if that makes any sense. Like, this one hit you in the feels, for real. And it showed just how cool of a guy Gein is. And all of them, dude. Kagura, Shinpachi, like, he rallied the troops to go and defend his idol. <laughs> all of these guys are awesome. Man, I love this. This is a great, great episode. All right, let's see what's up. Good looking foreign hosts. <laughs> the butch and sheen pachi. Okay. Oh, okay, Kagura. Kintama. So wait, is that like <laughs> golden balls? <laughs> This isn't cosmetic surgery. I was born with a butt chin. Dude, this next episode, man, I just... I don't think I'm ready for it, if I'm being completely honest. I don't think I'm ready for what this has in store for us. Yep, and we all know that's no ordinary pet. Alright. Dude, Gintama, man, I'm loving it so far. It's so interesting. Like, I don't think I've seen many anime like this one at all. Even, like, comedy anime, I haven't seen many like this one. Because, like, 
it, it I feel like it touches a little bit on everything. It has some serious tones, some emotional tones, some like comedic tones, of course, and then there's just some absolutely random, just nonsensical moments that happen throughout the episode that just leave you completely mind boggled. And most of them are done by Kagura. <laughs> Man, I love these characters. I love this series. But I guess um, I'd say my question of the day for you guys. I told you which one of the past four episodes was my favorite. Let me know out of episode three through four, which one was your favorite. And let me know why out of the episodes that I've reacted to so far. Because, I don't know, maybe there's a big, like, massive Kagura fan out there and they love episode 2. Or maybe there's a big uh, Kotaro fan. Or maybe there's, like, a lot of big fans of Gintoki. And they love how, like, badass he is and his history and everything. And they loved episode... Well, I guess it's episode 5. But my personal favorite was 6. Let me know, out of these 4 episodes, which one was your favorite. But anyways, with that, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching this far into the episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more Slice Shonen content. But with that, I'm going to head out and I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.